today we're we'll making dinner for three of us. Uh, I've had a taste for Indian food lately. My wife and I went to an awesome Indian restaurant here in Vegas uh, a little over a week ago. It was phenomenal. And we've been thinking about it ever since. So, my inspiration for the day was uh, curry. So I'm going to make a kind of Indian inspired meal with uh, this is wild elk, ground wild elk. One of my friends from work named the elk, and, uh, his brother or son in law, I think, somebody got for him. So this is, uh, I am once removed from the hunter. Of this wild elk. Um, it probably works out a little bit better if you have it uh, thought out, but I decided I wanted, wanted to make this without enough time to thaw. So, my personal technique, I have no idea how correct or incorrect this is, but I put frozen meat, uh, ground beef, down and let it cook. Then I use a spatula and just scrape off the side that cooked a little bit. And I'll just keep doing that until we get down to nothing. So that will be the meat that will be used. I'll keep doing that. Over here will be the vegetables. Right now those are fresh bean sprouts that uh, another one of my friends from work gave me. Put that in the pan with a little grapeseed oil. And also throw a fresh uh, zucchini and squash. I'm just going to rinse that up. Put that in the pan with the bean sprouts. Those are going to be my vegetables. You can see it just rinsed off the zucchini. Give a little quick jerking with a paper towel. Same thing with the squash. So I'll it real good. Dry it. Just meat again. Now this, like I said, this is elk. Elk is ridiculously lean. If you use another type of meat, which you can use any kind of meat you want. Obviously, I've done this before with ground beef. It comes out great. Um, also, venison. I actually just blindly grabbed one of the packages of the ground game that I have. And uh, I ended up grabbing the elk. Anything would taste good. It work. Now, like I said, you uh, are definitely supposed to have your ground beef, meat, whatever you're using, thawed. But, as I've said, my intentions for these videos are for people to, uh, for it to just be realistic, you know. Realistically, you might come home from work, be prepping meals for the week, whatever it is, you don't have a ton of time, you might get a last minute inspiration or taste for something, and things don't work out perfectly, and that's fine. It gets realistic, it's how shit goes, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to let you cook a little bit more, over here is the cutting board. I'm going to cut up the squash. I'm 
can cut this, your vegetables, however you want. I am definitely not an expert chopper. Not even close. Just do it like that. And this, my uh, family, my wife in particular, likes things cut small. it up, quarter it, nothing's got to be perfect, um, I also have a spiral thing, whatever those are, you put the zucchini and squash in and shit, you can make it into like noodles, I've done that before, that thing's great, you could definitely do that for this if you want, it doesn't really matter at all, just however you like it, however your family likes it. I also don't have the uh, stove turned up very high. It is on five for that. I really need to be super duper hot. This is a king here with the veggies. We got the curry. Curry the shit out of this. It's the main flavor that we're looking for. Indian flavor. Curry. Turmeric. Also a main ingredient in uh, Indian food is a turmeric. A little chili powder in there too. Spice it up a bit. A little bit of salt. I don't really think this is going to be too salty. Pepper. I mean, to me, it's just like a given. You're going to put salt and pepper in just about everything. Mix this up. I try to mix stuff good, even out the flavors. Really matter. I kind of want to know what to expect from the bites of the food I take. So I don't really want like, you know, one bite to be more flavorful or spicier than the other ones. So when I put spices and I put it all over everything, as you may have noticed, and then I mix it up real good. I'm not uh, one of those and I cringe personally. I, maybe I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I cringe when I see those cooking things and you put like a bunch of spice here and then here and then here and then here and separate the shit and mix it all together. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I want to make sure that everything's even. So I'm not going to put everything in one spot. I mean, if that's what you like, whatever. But not me. I like it nice and even. I don't know why you can see this, but there is literally... The pan is just about dry. That elk is very, very lean. Mix these vegetables up again. Okay, my five. We may have dinner done in about 15 minutes or so. Just because of the timing of my wife getting home from work and me having to leave for work. I turned it up to 7 in my electric stove. I had it on 5. Now, you would think to the main 
complaint or objection people would probably have to doing a ground beef like this is that the uh, it's not going to cook evenly, which is partially true. But once you break it off, if you push it to the edges, it's not that much of a difference. This is fine. done, or the elk, I guess it's not beef, when the meat is done, I'm going to mix it in with the vegetables. So when I do that, I'm going to add more spices, probably some water, just to make it a little bit of like a stew. Um, I personally try to eat no carb. And also add some of my organic super greens. That'll work up quick though, it's no big deal. And just take fistfuls. I'm just going to take probably two fistfuls like this, rinse it under cold water. Give it an extra wash. So it'll work up nicely. It almost doesn't add to the flavor, really. I wouldn't really say that it does. Uh, it does add to the nutritional factor, though. So you can make it in and cook a piece of wood to break. It is a shitload of nutrition, so I highly recommend doing it. Any kind of leafy green, it doesn't have to be those spinach is fine, kale is fine, chard, whatever, watercress doesn't really matter. Whatever you use, mixing it up is probably a good idea too. You don't need to use the same thing all the time. And this beef's kind of done. It's super duper duper lean. I've got a bunch of water. Now, like I said, I'm going to eat low carb. So this is all I'm going to have. I'm going to personally just eat the vegetables with the meat, and it's going to be delicious. I will ask my wife and kid if they want rice with it. If they do, <clears throat> I'll just make them some rice to go with it, and that's it. Everybody eats. If you want carbs, you get carbs. If you don't want carbs, you don't get carbs. Nice and simple. I'm going to do two. I'm going to flavor the beef. Like I said, I like the idea of things being even. So I'm going to also flavor the beef by itself before I mix it. You know, earlier I said I'd flavor it again once it all went together, but I changed my mind. I do that, it's fine. Improvise. And that get to do it the same way. I did kind of put a little bit more water than I really intended to. But I also don't want it to be too dry, so I'm just going to use a spoon. And then spoon the meat in. Right. I'm going to dump probably about half of that out and throw the rest in. Just add that to it. Too much. Get all the beef out. Now, as I said, I'm having a low carb version. My wife, however, did say that she wants rice. So, I am going to get some rice for it. Go with it. Just instant rice. Get the two can see. Uh, I do buy jasmine and brown. I'm not having any, so I don't really care. Uh, my wife and son prefer the 
jasmine. So that's what I'm gonna make them. And that's easy. Just water, water, oil, water. Use regular salt. Okay. And uh, that'll take 10 minutes. So they won't be long. Set the stove to high. Just go in here. At this point, I'll taste it, see what it's like. Probably pretty good though. Mm. I'm actually going to spice it up some more. Oh, here's a really good tip for you too. If you find, if you think that you've got too much of a spice, It's true, you can't go backwards and take it out, but you can kind of cancel it out. And what I mean by that is you can add a different spice that can cancel out the taste of it. Or, just add more water, oil, whatever else you're using. You know, just put something else in it that'll uh, absorb the flavor and kind of, you know, balance it out, spread it thinner. So, that's it. Get my Indian inspired dinner over here zucchini, squash, fresh bean sprouts, and uh, ground meat. I'm making a raise for my family. And that's it quick and easy. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.